In this presentation, we will discuss insurance expense as it relates to a sole proprietorship reporting on a Schedule C. We're concentrating on line one, the income line of our income tax equation, focusing or knowing or understanding that that will be supported by a Schedule C, which will have both income and expenses or income and deductions. The net income, however, will then roll forward to line one of the or to the 1040 to the line one of our equation, which will be the income. It will look like this on the 1040. We're looking at 7B. This is on the first page of the 1040. And that will be supported by this Schedule 1 on line 3. That then supported by the Schedule C. Insurance. You generally can deduct per premiums. You pay for the following kinds of insurance related to your business. They include fire, theft, flood, or similar insurance. Credit insurance that covers losses from business bad debt. So just note, you know, the general rule for insurance, obviously, you're, you're covering something that could possibly happen in the future, but it is a business expense because you're covering, typically the general rule would be that you're insuring something that is used to help you to uh, generate revenue, and therefore the expense of covering it as the coverage is going would be, you would think, a business expense, something that would generally be deductible. So that would be the, the kind of concept of the insurance. So credit insurance that covers losses from business bad debt, group hospitalization and medical insurance for employees, including long-term care insurance, liability insurance, malpractice insurance that covers your personal liability for professional negligence resulting in injury or damage to patients or clients, workers' compensation insurance set by, by state law that covers any claims for bodily injuries, or job-related diseases suffered by employees in your business regardless of fault. Contributions to a state unemployment insurance fund are deductible as taxes if they are considered taxes under state law. So they're deductible as taxes if considered taxes under state law. So that's going to be dependent uh, in some, to some degree on the state. Overhead uh, insurance that pays for business overhead expenses you have during long periods of disability caused by your injury or sickness. Car and other vehicle insurance that covers vehicles used in your business for liability, damages, and other losses. If you operate a vehicle partial, uh, partly for personal use, deduct only the part of the insurance premium that applies to the business use of the vehicle. That's all, always an issue you have to ask with regards to vehicles. You know, is this a full business use or not? Any deduction, typically, you would think would make sense, right? That any deduction related to a vehicle that's used partially for business and not, uh, that you would have to somehow prorate the percentage that would be business use versus non-business use. And you may always want to default your default thought about how would you do that might be the amount of miles driven. So the ratio of miles driven that are business versus uh, the total miles that were driven. Uh, if you use the standard mileage rate to figure your car expenses, you cannot deduct any car insurance premiums. So if you're using the standard rate, then you're using the simplified rate. And therefore, this isn't something that would be outside or added on to it. You'd just be using the standard mileage rate for it. Life insurance covering your employees if you are not directly or indirectly the beneficiary uh, under the contract. So typically, if you're thinking about the life insurance for the employees, uh, they might be providing life insurance for their family and whatnot. But you got to think about who the beneficiary is. So in the case where you were uh, like, if you had a life insurance, it would be kind of an unusual situation where you were the beneficiary, then then either directly or indirectly, then possibly not deductible. So you got to take that into consideration with the life insurance. Business interruption insurance that pays for the lost profits if your business is shut down due to a fire or other cause non-deductible premiums so these are the premiums that would not be deductible for uh, insurance self-insurance uh, reserve funds you cannot deduct amounts credited to re to a reserve set up for self-insurance this applies even if you cannot get business insurance coverage for certain business risks however your actual cost may be deductible for more information see publication uh, 547 casualties disasters and trusts so if you if you're basically setting up the self-insurance then you would want to get more information on the publication the 547 you can find that on the irs website irs.gov loss of earnings you cannot deduct premiums for a policy that pays for your lost earnings due to sickness or disability however uh, see item 8 in the previous list 
certain life insurance and annuities. So certain life insurance and annuities for contracts issued before June 9th, 1997. You cannot deduct the premiums on a life insurance policy covering you, an employee, or any person with a financial uh, interest in your business if you are directly or indirectly a beneficiary of the policy. So we're back to that. Who's the beneficiary of the policy? You are included among possible beneficiaries of the policy if the policy owner is obligated to repay a loan from you using the proceeds of the policy. A person has a financial interest in your business if the person is an owner or part owner of the business uh, or has lent money to the business. Uh, for contracts issued after J June 8th, 1997, you generally cannot deduct the premiums of any life insurance policy, endowment, contract, or annuity contract if you are directly or indirectly a beneficiary. The disallowance applies without regard to whom the policy covers. Self-employed health insurance deduction. Uh, you may be able to deduct the amount you, you paid for medical and dental insurance and qualified long-term care insurance for uh, you and your family. So if you're self-employed, in other words, you have the Schedule C business, it's possible that you can get a deduction for the health insurance in that situation. How to figure the deduction. Generally, you can deduct, uh, you can use the worksheet in the instructions for Form 1040 to figure your deduction. However, if any of the following apply, you must use the worksheet in Chapter 6 of Publication 535. So you have so if these apply, you got to use the more complex type of publication. Obviously, using tax software would be very useful and helpful to apply uh, some of the restrictions items. You have more than one source of income subject to self-employment tax. You file form 2555 or form 255EZ. You are uh, using amounts paid for qualified long-term care insurance to figure the deduction. Use publication 974 can be found on the IRS website instead of the worksheet in the instructions for form 1040 if the insurance plans uh, established or considered to be established under your business was obtained through the health insurance marketplace and you are claiming the premium tax credit.